Yo, what's going on guys? It's your boy, a typical security guard. I want to welcome you to the security guard channel and today's debrief. Now I'm actually off of work for once. I didn't have to go in today. Had a little bit extra time. So I decided to shoot this from my loft. I really uh, enjoy my loft apartment. My wife and I, we have a, a very um, you know, unique industrial space here. And uh, I really wanna try and incorporate this a little bit more into some of the things that we're doing. I feel like um, if we can do more long form interviews, kind of develop this into more of a podcast, we can talk about things that are um, a part of our industry or maybe more industry specific. We can break down uh, firearms, we can break down equipment, we can go over some of the things that are just important to us. So as always, if you're getting any benefit to the videos or the content that we're uploading, please like, share, and subscribe, and just tell other people about what we're doing. Right now, I think we're sitting at like 172, 173 subscribers. And to be 100% honest with you guys, I never expected to get any traction on this channel or even have you know more than a handful of people uh, that were checking out the videos or subscribing to it. You know, being in security is such a, a niche thing, right? And the general idea around being a security guard or uh, the, the general conception of, of a security guard is so negative that I really didn't think that we would get any sort of traction on this. But we're starting to see that people are following the channel. Uh, we're getting a lot of engagement in terms of comments. People are asking questions. And I think that that's what we need to do if we want to uh, see this industry grow. And we're in such an amazing time right now because specifically in Portland and other areas that are like Portland, the police department um, is slowly being pulled away from different avenues of public interaction. That's only going to open up more opportunity for security companies and security guards. So again, if you're looking for an opportunity to get involved with something right now where you can make really decent money, have a um, almost crash proof industry, security is a great way to go. If you're a morally upstanding person, you don't mind working, you don't mind working hard, this is a great opportunity for you to get into something, especially as the pandemic continues and even as it starts to, to loosen up. Uh, the industry in terms of um, uh, the entertainment industry or the entertainment aspect, um, um, you know, when, when bars and nightclubs and restaurants and things like that start to open up, it's going to be a great opportunity for people uh, to really make some money in terms of working in security. So that's a completely different topic. I don't want to get sidetracked uh, away from what we're talking about today. And today we're talking about gloves, all right? If you're working in the security industry, you probably already know this, you really need a good pair of gloves. And I, for the last six months, have been on the hunt for the perfect glove. So I'm gonna go over uh, three specific uh, different sets of gloves that I have right now that I kind of rotate in and out of my arsenal, so to speak, and just kind of give you my idea on them. Now, to be 100% open and honest, I have not found the perfect glove. The perfect glove would actually be a mixture of the three that I'm going to show you. So we're going to start off right now. Um, this is the Hatch brand. And what I like about this glove the most is that it's actually a Kevlar lined glove, okay? These are slash proof. These are also um, uh, needle proof. And working in Portland where recently um, heroin and methamphetamine have been decriminalized, working with the homeless population, the mentally ill population, the drug problem here in Portland is just out of control. So on any given day, I'm dealing with you know having to pick up uncapped needles uh, or deal with people who have uncapped needles uh, on their general person a lot. So for me, uh, a Kevlar lined glove that's slash proof, uh, that's puncture proof, uh, was going to be worth its weight in gold. But the only problem with these gloves is that in order to achieve that um, stability, right? In order to achieve that stability, you have to give up something. And what you're giving up with this hatch glove is you're giving up dexterity. 
Now, the dexterity level, I'm going to probably say like on a scale of one to five, five being the absolute uh, best aspect of dexterity. And dexterity is like being able to really move your fingers and move your hands. Uh, I'm going to give these like a two. Um, they're pretty cumbersome. They're uh, where the where the Kevlar um, is lined inside. It's almost like you feel the, the two different types of the lining kind of slipping when you have them on. So trying to retrieve your firearm, um, trying to manipulate any of your equipment, it's, it's kind of non-existent. Now I've had these gloves for about six months and as they've kind of broken in, they've gotten better, uh, but I do not feel comfortable uh, drawing my weapon or, or having to shoot with these gloves. Uh, so my overall rating, let's give these a rating one out of five, five being the absolute best. I'm going to give them a five in terms of the slash proof and stab proof of the needle. Um, but in terms of dexterity, I'm going to give it a two, right? And then my overall, I'm going to, I'm going to say two and a half. Let, let's go three. I'm going to go three. These are actually not bad gloves. They're, they're almost, they're almost perfect, except for the fact that you have zero dexterity and there's absolutely no um, touch screen ability on these gloves. But these gloves stay in my off pocket, and if I had to do anything with, with picking up needles, uh, this would be something that I would use. All right, so my next pair is going to be the Tactical Glove by Free2, and I will put the information from Amazon where I ordered these in the description. Now, these gloves are pretty fucking close to what I'm looking for, okay? Now, I don't know about you guys, but for me, I love kind of a like a tacky texture on uh, the fingers and on the, and on the grip. These don't have that per se, but where it has the, the writing, okay, where it has the company name, the company name is kind of made into a tack. So, you know, it's, uh, I'm gonna say maybe like 30% of the, of the, inner part of the glove has that it does have touch screen capability so that's a plus uh, but there's no Kevlar these are not waterproof they're not uh, needle proof so I have been wearing these for the past two months but I'm not a hundred percent sold um, dexterity wise I'm gonna give it a four they're not perfect but they're damn close uh, I'm gonna give it an absolute zero on um, the slash proof or on the prick proof and I'm gonna say these gloves probably would be a two and a half to a three I mean they're, they're right up there with these Kevlar gloves in terms of what they provide but there's too much that they're lacking in order for me to give them a really high rating but the unfortunate thing is that I have now purchased four separate sets of gloves right directly from our local law enforcement store that, that um, sells to Homeland Security, sells to uh, the Sheriff's Department, all the local police departments, and I'm still trying to find the perfect glove, which leads me to number three, okay? And these absolute break, absolutely break my heart because in terms of dexterity, in terms of the, the way that they feel, in terms of the fit, these 511 tactical shooting gloves are damn near exactly what I want. They feel perfect. They fit your hand literally like a glove, right? Um, they, they are the size that you would expect. They're actually made of kind of like a kind of like an under armor shirt uh, type material on top. Um, they've got the um, the touch screen. Uh, sensitivity on almost all of the fingers I think you can do it with any of the fingers but after having these gloves for only two months I got a huge rip right in the middle if you can see that where my fingers sticking out I got a huge rip in these and it wasn't like I caught them on anything it wasn't like I did anything to them they just simply one day right where the stitching is it just busted I've had rips in these 511 gloves and I've had two pair of 511 pants that have just split inadvertently so I don't know if you know there's something going on with 511 as a company 
where, you know, they are using less quality products or if they're cutting corners somewhere, I don't know. Um, but recently in the past six months, I have had three 511, um, uh, 511 pieces of apparel, okay, two pairs of pants and these gloves that have just ripped for no reason. And like I said, again, there's nothing that I was doing to these. These gloves were absolutely perfect in terms of dexterity, absolute five star. These gloves were perfect in the way that they feel, perfect in uh, utilizing them, withdrawing your weapon, even shooting the weapon, um, withdrawing your handcuffs, anything. I mean, these gloves were absolutely perfect with the only exception, well, the only few exceptions, being that there's no slash proof, there's no um, protection from needles, in that for whatever reason, they just fucking exploded on me one day and I have not been able to wear these since. Now, these gloves, the 511 tactical shooting gloves, are also the most expensive out of all three of these, okay? So the Kevlar gloves were, I think, maybe 40 bucks. The free two cheapest of the three coming in at like 23, 24 bucks, so not a bad value for what they're bringing to the table. But the 511 tactical shooting gloves, easily, easily, I want to say $65, if not more, um, at the law enforcement store. So, you know, being a DPSST officer, I think I got maybe 10, 15% off of that, but super expensive. And whenever there is damage to 511 um, apparel, you can send it to the company. The, the actual law enforcement store here in town will not take it back. They will not give you any sort of credit for it. You can send it back to 511, but there's no guarantee that 511 is going to make it right either. So this is not to bash 511. You know, I think that 99.9% .9 of us, we wear the 511 tactical pants. We probably have a ton of 511 equipment. And, you know, anytime that you're mass producing something on the level that they are, there's sure to be issues like this. And it could have just been you know, just wear and tear, but, um, I'm going to say that these gloves, uh, I want to, I want, I'm going to give them a four. I'm going to give them a four because up until they split on me, they were absolutely perfect. Obviously they're lacking the Kevlar. Obviously they're lacking, uh, that puncture proof, but in terms of like just what they were being utilized for in my time with them, best gloves that I've had hands down, with the exception that they did not stay together. Um, I do have a fourth pair of gloves that I don't have on the table right here, and I ordered these off of Amazon. I looked at the pictures and the reviews, I read the reviews, but the issue that I had with these uh, new gloves that came in, they were just too thick. Oh yeah. I mean, absolutely anything that could have been wrong with these gloves was wrong with these gloves. They were too thick. There's no dexterity, there's no touchscreen capability, there's no Kevlar, there's no puncture proof, and they were just like super bulky. They were almost like your old school, um, you know, childhood gloves you'd have when you were a kid and your mom would send you out to play outside or something. Yo, uh, so, uh, those gloves are definitely going back. They won't even see the light of day. I will not wear them at all. I didn't even take them off of the, the little thing that they came on, like... They're going back tomorrow. They're trash. So um, I would love to hear your guys' uh, opinions. If you are rocking a pair of gloves that you're really proud of, that you really like, that you're getting good use out of, um, share that with us because I'm trying to find something that would combine all of the great aspects of all three of these pairs of gloves into one glove. If I could find a pair of gloves that had the fit, the finish, the feel of these, but it was also, um, you know, Kevlar. It was slash proof and stick proof. And if it was in the price range of these free two, that would be sick as well. So uh, just something I wanted to talk about and go over with you guys. Please share with me if you have any links or information uh, to the best pair of gloves that you can that you can find out there because I'm always looking, I'm always shopping, I'm always in the market for it, okay? So that's gonna be my video for today. I wanna thank you guys as always for your time, your attention, and um, like I said, please share this with other guards. Let's get the word out, let's continue to build this community and always be great, all right, be great.